For practicit self check 3.4 odds, we are asked what output is produced by the following program. We have a class, and then we have a main method here, and then a method, a void method that gets called in our main method. First thing that we look at is this print odds 3, so we're passing in 3 here. We have a for loop that's going to iterate 3 times. The first time it iterates, we have i is equal to 1, and then we're going to print out odd. Well, we can just write o, and our o is going to equal 2 times i, which will be 2 minus 1, so we get odd is equal to 1, so we're going to have 1 and then a space. Next we have i is equal to 2, Let we run here, odd is equal to 2 times i, so that's going to be 4 minus 1, which is 3, and we're just going to print out 3 with a space. Next we have i is equal to 3, so our odd is going to be 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 1, that gives us 5. So we're going to print out 5 here, and then we are going to go on to a new line. And then that is it for this method call here. After this, we have a, another method call right underneath it. And this is going to give us, this is basically 16 divided by 2, so this is passing in 8, like this. So we're going to do the same thing, where we have all of these values. We're going to have 1, 3, 3, 5, and then we can clearly tell it's a pattern. So when i is equal to 4, this is going to be 7. When i is equal to 5, this is going to give us 9. And when i is equal, so i is equal to 5 like this, and then we can pair these so we don't lose track of them. i is equal to 4, i is equal to 5, and then i is equal to 6, i is equal to 7, and we have to do one more. So we have i is equal to 9, and that'll give us 15. Again, we can pair these like this, so we don't lose track. This should be a 6, and this is a 7. This will go here, and i is equal to 8. So that is our line so far. In the first line, we have 1, 3, 5. In the next line, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Lastly, we have this right here we have to look at. And that is going to be, we're passing in 37 minus 25. That's going to give us 12 plus 1. So this is equivalent to 13. So basically, we have everything that we had before, because it's a for loop. So it's going to print out the same thing. 11, 13, and then 15. And then, now we have i is equal to 9. That'll give us 17. And after 17, again, we should pair these so we don't lose track. So, i is equal to 9. And then we have i is equal to 10, and i is equal to 11. We're going to have 17, then we'll have 19 for this one, and then 21 for here, and see if we need to do it anymore. We have to do it till 13, so we have um, 23, and then 25. We have i is equal to 12, and i is equal to 13 here, like that. So those are going to be your lines of output. Each different color represents a different line. And that is how we are going to print out all of these numbers in the output. Putting this into the practice problem, we're going to have 1, 3, 5. And then we're going to have um, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. 13, 15, and on the next line we'll have 1, well actually, we can copy this because we're going to have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and then we'll have 17, 19, 21, 23, and 25, and this is the same thing that we figured out on the drawing that we did of it when we 
drew out the output. We can see that we passed this test and this is the output for this code.